Good morning, students. Am I audible? Please confirm in the chat box. Thank you, students. Thank you for confirming. Thank you so much for confirming. Students, welcome to the new batch of Python. Welcome to the new batch of Python. My name is Ruto. Okay. So every day we have a session of one hour from Monday to Friday. And the course fee, you all know about it. Course content, you're also aware of this, right? So let's proceed with our first session. Let's proceed with our first session. But before that, one student had asked me, one student, when do we get the course installed on our computer? Students, you are still, you are start, you are today only, you are going to proceed with the installation of Python. I'll tell you the process of installation of Python today itself. Okay. Fine, let's go ahead. Okay. So, Bruce, before proceeding further, before proceeding further, let's talk about what is Python. Let's talk about what is Python. Students, when we talk about Python, it is nothing but a general purpose, simple platform independent, highly interpreted, and high-level programming language. Your voice is not clear, it's echo. My voice is not clear to everyone. Is this, are you people, all of you are facing problem? It's clear. It's clear. Is it clear now? It's clear. Some of the students who are facing some issue, can you please re-log in? Can you please re-log in? Clear to some of the students and students who are facing some issues, I request them to please re log in. Please speak your native voice. No, it's nothing like that, student. It's nothing like that. I always speak like this only. I'm not trying to moderate my voice. Just a second, let me check if someone is.
Am I clear to everyone? Thank you, Shubham. Thank you. So let's proceed. Let's proceed. As I've told you, as we have started discussing, before proceeding further, we should be aware of that what actually the Python is. What actually the Python is. Children, Python is nothing. It is a general purpose, simple, platform independent, highly interpreted and high level programming language. Okay. So everyone who is new to the IT industry, who is not even aware of single A, single P of Python can also learn the Python. Even non-IT background students who are from non-IT background can also learn Python easily. But for that, what you need to do is, you need to attend the classes regularly Okay, because we are going to start from scratch. We are going to start from the scratch. Okay, so all the students, whether it's teacher, whether it's a agriculturist, whether it is a student, whosoever wants to learn Python can learn Python easily. Okay. Why I have told you it is general purpose, simple, platform independent, highly interpreted, and high level programming language. I'll tell you about it also. Now, what kind of applications? What kind of applications one can develop by using Python? So, how many types of applications we can develop? There is a lot many in every field today nowadays. Python is Python is necessary. So we can develop, by learning coding, we can develop many applications such as web application development. We all know about web application development, that is web sites development, web sites development. Example, Java programming language, C language, C++ programming language, Python programming language, etc. Okay, so we can develop the websites also with the help of the coding. We can also develop, we can also develop the gaming applications. Whosoever is interested in the development of gaming applications can also proceed with the Python. Artificial intelligence applications like machine learning, deep learning, etc. So if you want to go ahead with machine learning or deep learning, we need to have the knowledge of Python. Desktop GUI. Desktop GUI, that is graphical user interface applications. We can also develop the image processing application, text processing based applications. If we talk about the business applications, we can also develop that also. We can also develop business applications also with the help of Python programming. Even in use, even, in, even we can use this in banks or if we talk about the schools, everyone is using the, everyone is using the, what is the meaning of developing Java programming language? Is Java not a language of its own. I'll tell you each and everything. Don't you worry, students. Sweat, you need to take have some patience. I'll tell you each and everything. Although Java is also a programming language, C is also a programming language, C++. I'll tell you each and everything about it. Okay? Just you need to have a patience because this is just a start. 
this is just a chart. I'll tell you each and everything. I clear all your doubts. Okay. So we can develop the audio and video based applications such as YouTube, web scrapping and harvesting applications. One student is asking you what is harvesting applications. Even in the harvest, in any sector, in any sector, if we need to go ahead with the, if we need to go ahead with the Python programming, with the coding, we need to have the knowledge of Python. I'll tell you about the harvesting applications also. Data visualizations, data visualization. We can solve with the help of Python programming, we can solve the numerical and complex you know, mathematical operations. As I've told you that we can develop the software also with the help of, with the help of Python. Operating system installers, CAD and CAM based applications, embedded applications, BLSI, IoT based applications, Console-based applications. Automation industry is also using the Python coding. How is the automation industry using? We all know that all the, all the industries today nowadays are using, are using the sensors. They have the sensors in their programs right in all the cars and all the automation industry they have the sensors so they're going ahead with the they are going to be ahead with the automation industry is also using the python programming language python programming language clear students okay now now one student is asking me, what is IoT? IoT based application. Student, if you talk about IoT applications, IoT is nothing. It allows, uh, it allows us to connect all our home applications. Like we can talk about the air conditioners. We can talk about the locking, Today we are using the locks also, right? The sensor locks also, the theft alarm and all, they all come under the IoT based application. Okay. Clear student, is this clear to you? Okay. Okay. So, animations. Animations of applications, we use that. Data analysis and data analytics, computer vision, education, programming, etc. So all the industries are using, all the industries are using the Python programming, the Python coding. Now, let's start with the Python. So, have you understood that what is Python and where we can use it? Where can we use this? Okay, now let's go ahead with Python. Before proceeding further, we'll talk about the history of Python, then the versions of Python MNCs are using, okay? Then downloading process of Python, after that, we'll talk about the Python programming is inspired from, then we start discussing about the features of Python. Features of Python. So let's start with the history of Python students. Let's start with the history of Python. As we all know, it is a general purpose programming language, as I've already told you, used in many applications. The Python programming language was conceived, was conceived in 1980. It means when the Rosen, the father of 
father of Python, thought about thought about developing Python. He started working on it in 1980. Okay, and it took nine years to develop this language. Okay, and it was implemented in 1989. It was conceived in 1980, and after nine years, it was implemented in 1989. Python programming language, but officially, if we talk about it, officially, it was released in 1991, February 20. So it was conceived in 1980 right then brought into action in 1989 but it was officially released officially released to the industry in 1991 february 20. it was developed by guido van rossum it was developed by guido van rossum now who is guido van rossum is the father of is the father of Python programming. It was developed in Central Viscunde Informatica, that is CWI Institute of Netherlands. Student, if we talk about the predecessor of this language, that is ABC programming language. Python programming language managed and maintained it is managed and maintained by the non-commercial organization that is Python Software Foundation. Okay, so Python programming managed and maintained by a non-commercial organization that is Python Software Foundation. The official website of Python Software Foundation is www.python.org. So this is the only it's, this is the only official website through which we can download the Python programming language. Okay, so the official website of software development is www.python.org. Let's go ahead. Now we talk about the versions of Python MNCs are using. MNCs are using. Students, when we talk about the versions of Python, I wanted to show you something. I wanted to show you something. Okay. Student, we have different versions of Python. Different versions of Python. So, see, now I wanted to tell you that we have a minor version. and major versions, major versions. So when we talk about the major versions, we have one, two, and three. When we talk about the minor versions, they always come after major versions like 
like one point x one point x in this one is the major fun version and point x is the minor version okay like this we have 1.1 1 .1, in which one is the major version point one is the minor version then we have 1.2 in which one is the major version point two is the major version now if we talk about 1.x this is an outdated version now so no one is using the no one is using this outdated version it does not support the outdated version okay it always it always supports the latest version okay so let me show you let me show you see see when we were talking about this when we were talking about this In this one point x is which x is the major version, x is the major version, right? And rest is the minor version. Rest is the minor version. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. Okay. Now, one is the major version and X represents the minor version. Like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, if we talk about the major version, it is outdated now. Python programming does not support the backward compatibility. Okay. Now, Python 2.x. Python 2.x, in which 2 is the major version and x represents the minor version. Same like this, we have Python 3.x. Here, 3 is the major version. Sorry, I wrote it wrong. Here, 3 is the major version. 3 is the major version. And x represents the x represents the minor version so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine eleven twelve so they are the minor version okay now how to download how to download the python programming how to download the python programming let me show you the downloading process of python programming what you need to do is just go to go to the Chrome. I'll tell you the downloading process of it. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to go in, you need to go to www.python.org. Go to the official website of Python. We'll get the screen like this. We'll get the screen like this. Okay. After that, see. See, here we'll get each and everything. We need to go to the download. We need to go to the download. See, the active Python releases. So these are the active Python releases when it was released and end of support. Now, see, we have the release date of all the Python 
version. Now, now we are using the latest version. So what we need to do is, you need to go here, the download Python. You need to go to download Python. Just click on this. Just click on this. You'll be able to download it. You'll be able to download it. Although it's in my system, it's already install, installed. So upgrade now. I am getting this upgrade now. So you need to download it from here. You need to download it from here. Okay, let's go ahead, students. Let's go ahead. Now, now. How do we download it in a MacBook? Students, I had the same question. I had the same question from the last, last batch also. Some students have the math book. So that you need to follow the YouTube students. You need to follow the YouTube. I have no idea about the math book. No, you need to use this Python programming only for practicing Python. No, you cannot use the Anaconda software. You need to go ahead with this. So on the way, you need to go ahead with the Python software only. Okay, fine, good. And please remember, you need to download it from its official website only. That is www.python. Python. Yes, PyCharm can be used. PyCharm is a part of Python students. So when you will download it you will get the options you need to click on all the options and then you need then you can install pycharm can be used yes we can use the pycharm also okay but you need to install it from its official website only okay fine let's go ahead Let's go ahead. Any other questions, students? If you have any questions, just raise your hands. Any questions, students? Okay, one student has to raise the hand. Yes, tell me, please unmute yourself, student. Are you please unmute yourself? How to set up it? Are you people having your laptops in front of you? Have you downloaded it? Have you downloaded it? What is Jupyter Notebook? I'll tell you, it's a part of Python only. Jyoti, it's a part of, we can run the programs in Jupyter Notebook. Good. If you have downloaded it, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. No, no students. You just don't make any changes in that. 
don't disable path length limit. Ma'am, is it your real voice or my modulated voice? It's very slow. Students, today is the first day. If I'll run like that, the students will won't be able to get me. You okay, sure all the students won't be able to get me. Today is the first day of our session. That's why my voice is slow. Okay, it's my real voice. It's not the modu modulated voice. If I'll run, if I'll keep on running, you know, st students won't be able to understand it. Yes, one student is writing, Madam, do you want to ask anything? Do you want to ask anything? Student, you don't have to log in. Your mic is not even showing to say something. No, it's nothing like that. You will get the option to speak. You know, whenever you just raise your hand, if you want to say anything, I'll unmute you. I will unmute you from my side. Then only you'll be able to speak. Okay, you need to raise your hand first if you want to say anything. Clear, student? Any doubt? Please raise your hands if you have any doubt. I'll unmute you. Then after that, I'll give you the permission to talk. Then you have to unmute yourself. Then you'll be able to speak. Okay. Any other doubt? Okay, students. So let's proceed further. Let's proceed further. We all know the downloading process of Python. It's clear till here. Let's go ahead. Okay. Now, as I've told you, the latest version is 3.11. So we need to download it from official website that is www.python.org. Let's go ahead. Now we'll start discussing about the features of Python students. Now we'll start discussing about the features of Python. So what all are the features of Python? Let's start with that. But before that, we should be aware of what is a feature? What do we understand by a feature? Students, features are nothing but a service or facilities provided by the language developers in the languages. And they are used by language programmers for developing real-time applications. So features are the services and facilities provided by One student has just a second. One student, hi, not able to hear other students' conversation doubts, which I don't feel interactive. See, if the, all the students will keep on chatting among, among themselves, then how will I be able to explain that? This is an online session, dear. This is an online session. If the students have any doubts, see, I am, my screen is, my screen is, clear in front of you. If somebody is writing something, if somebody is writing something, you can see that. And in case they have any question, if they raise their hand, <coughs> I'm sorry. If they raise their hand, in that case, I unmute them and you will be also, you'll be also able to understand the conversation and their doubts. Okay. If any one of you has any doubt, just raise your hand. I'll unmute you. Then after that, you have to unmute yourself. You'll be able to hear the doubt of the other students also. Is this clear, students? What I have no idea. What's your name? 
this moon moon is coming here okay 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 so features we were talking about the features what all are the features they are the facilities provided by the language developer in the language and used for la language programmers for developing real time application and if we talk about the python python has the 11 features python has 11 features they are and what all they are first is simple simple Second is freeware and open source, as I've already told you. Third, I've told you it's a platform independent language. Fourth, dynamically typed programming language. Then, interpreted programming language. High level programming language, robust, extensible, embedded, both functional and object oriented programming language. It also supports the third APIs such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, SciPy, Scikit, Keras, C1, etc. So, how is this language? Simple. But before that, we need to know that Python is inspired from the four different languages. Four different programming languages. One is the functional programming language from C. So it has learned functional programming from C. It has learned object orientation programming from C++. Okay. Then it has learned the modular programming language from Modulo 3. And if we talk about the scripting programming, it has learned the scripting programming from Perl. Is it clear, students? So Python programming, it has learned functional programming from C, object-oriented programming from C++, modular programming language from Modular 3, and scripting programming from Perl. Let's go ahead. Now, we'll start with features. The first feature was simple. How? How is the Python a simple language? As I've already told you, it is a simple programming language because of its three technical features. Three important technical features. Now, what are they? It provides a rich set of APIs. So it has a rich set of APIs. We have lot many libraries, APIs so that Python programmer can use, reuse the predefined code without writing our own code and hence Python based applications are easy to develop. So because of its rich set of APIs, we can use, reuse the predefined code, okay? They need not to write their own code. So it is easy to develop because of its rich set of APIs. Now, what do we understand by API? API is a collection of modules. API is full, meaning full form is application programming interface. If we talk about the API, it is a collection of modules. And what do we understand by module? It is a collection of functions, variables, and class. Example, calendar, math, CMAT, OS, RE, random, etc. So all the collection of functions, variables, and class is known as a module. Is known as module. Now, second factor, why it is simple? Second factor for calling it simple is because of its garbage collector. Now, what is garbage collector? What does the garbage collector use, do? It removes the unused memory space. It removes the unused memory space, which helps in the better performance of Python-based application. Okay, which gives the better performance of Python-based application. See, Python programming provides the garbage collector. 
whose role is running of regular Python program for collecting and removing unused memory space and improves the performance of Python based application. Students, I have a client call. I need to put you on a hold for a minute. Please be online with me. Please be online with me. Thank you for being with me, students. Now, as I've told you, the second factor for calling it as a simple language because of its garbage collector facility. What does it do? It removes the unused memory space and helps to improve the Python based application. Okay, so garbage collector takes care about the automatic memory management. Now, third factor, because of it, user-friendly syntaxes. What do we understand by syntaxes? Anyone knows what are syntaxes? Anyone knows what are syntaxes? Student, if we talk about the syntaxes, in the simple language, they are, that is known as the, that is known as the, We, in the simple language, we can call it as a formula. Okay. So what does the Python programming do? Set of rules that defines how our Python program will be written and interpreted. Yes, but in a simple and understandable language, in the simple and understandable language, it is a syntaxis means the formulas. Okay. So Python programming provides user-friendly syntaxes so that the Python programmer can develop error-free programs in limited span of time. Now, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. With the second feature, that is platform-independent language. What do we understand by platform-independent language? It means in platform independent language, data types memory remains same for all types of OSS. 
So in effective platform independent language, all types of values will store in the form of objects. And they can store unlimited amount of data. Students, we all know what is OSS. We all know about it. What do we understand by OSS? Tell me fast. Any other student? What is OSS? Come on, student. Yes. Yes. It is operational support system or operation support system, right, right. Operation systems, right, very good. So all the operation systems, operation systems, it remains same for all the operation system. In platform independent language, data types memory remains the same for all operating systems. An effective platform independent language of all types of values will store in the object in the form of object. So whatever we write will be stored in the form of object and they can store unlimited amount of data. So Java object contains size restricted. Now what is the difference between Java and Python? Java object is size restricted. Whereas Python objects contains unlimited size and unlimited values can store in it. Okay, so all the values if we talk about, all the values if we talk about are stored in the, in the form of objects in Python. Okay, so Java is a programming in itself, but it is size restricted. But if we talk about the Python, it, it can store unlimited size and unlimited value. Okay, now let's go ahead. With the third feature that is freeware and open source. Freeware and open source. Student freeware. Freeware means it is downloaded easily from its official website. Freeware means it can freely download it from its official website. So if a software is set to be freeware, it can be downloaded freely from its official website like Python software. Second, open source. Standard name of Python is C Python. Standard name of Python is C Python. Some of the company vendors came forward and customized C Python and used the customized versions and in-house tools in the company. So what they do is, what they do is some of the company vendors and customize the C Python used for customized versions their in-house tools in their company. Such type of customized versions of Python are called the distribution of Python. Now, some of the distributors of Pythons are like JPython or Python. It is used for running Java-based applications. So, some distributions are using the JPython or Python for running the Java-based application. Second, they have the Iron Python or IPython, which is used to run chash.net application. MicroPython used to develop microcontrollers. Ruby Python used to develop Ruby based applications. Anaconda Python, it is used to run Hadoop application. Hadoop means big data application. So, like this, we have lot many, lot many distributions. Okay. Now, fourth, fourth, it is a Dynamically typed programming language. Students, we have two types of programming language. 
one is static type and the other is dynamically type. Now let's come to know what is static type. Static type is a programming language where a programmer must define a variable with data type. Otherwise, we'll get the compile time error. Okay. Okay. Like here, programmer must define a variable. Like, let me show you. A is equal to 10. A is what? It's a variable. We, need, we are defining a variable. Okay. And B is equal to 20. C is equal to A plus B. C is equal to A plus B. So, declaration is mandatory here. Declaration is mandatory here. If we talk about int, this is the integer type, right? A is equal to 10. B is equal to 20. C is equal to A plus B. So, when we talk about the static type, Defining a variable is compulsory in this. Otherwise, we'll get the compile time error. Like, like in C, C++, and Java, it is mandatory to define a variable. Let's talk about the dynamically type programming language. In this programming language, need not to specify the data. Here, we need not to specify the data. If we data type of variable decided by the Python execution environment based application. Okay, so what happens is here the variable decided. If we talk about the programmer, we need not to define it. Whenever we type the type of data we'll want, we'll get that. Let me show you. Let me show you. After down, downloading the Python, you'll get the screen like this. You'll get the screen like this. Shall you? Here, you have to go to the properties. From where you can set the font size also. You can set the font size also. Is this okay, students? Is this okay to you? Good, good. Okay. Now, if I'm writing A is equal to 10, B is equal to 1.2, C is equal to A plus B. Now, see, now if I'm writing print A, comma, type of A, we automatically come to know that what type of it is it a specific type or a dynamically type. We'll come to know what type of class it is. Now if I'll write print B comma type of B, we come to know. It is a class float. Now print C. comma type of C. It is again a class float. So what happens is, what happens is, whenever we talk about it, whenever we do this, data type, we need not to specify. It will come automatically whenever we type, whenever we write the value, whenever we type the type of value. Okay, so all the values in Python programming are stored in the form of objects, are stored in the form of objects. Clear, students? Clear? Now, so that's all for the session today, students. Rest of the features we'll discuss tomorrow. Rest of the features we'll discuss tomorrow. Do you people have any doubt? Please raise your hand if anyone of you has been in doubt.
Thank you. Three participants has raised the hand. Okay. Yes, Sam, please unmute yourself. Yeah, hi, teacher. Good morning. Very good morning. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm very much interested to learn the Python, but you mentioned like a 50 days, 50 working days, or how it is like a 50 weekends, working. Exclude, weekends excluded, right? Yes, weekends excluded. Okay, that's fine. So the Python, what you are going to teach us is like a, where we stand after complete this course. Because Python is like a ocean, right? We can design like a uh, SpaceX programs also, everything, right? It includes every corner like using Python. Yeah, it's very hard and like a very useful program. But yes. after completion this course, where we stand in the market? Like what type of jobs, like how much we confident to like get the job? See, the thing is we are we are learning basic to advanced. We are yeah. going to start with basic to advanced. It's not like that that I'm just going to teach you the basic Python programming language programming. I'm going mm. to teach you base, basic to advanced. So once basic you will be to, to yeah. advanced, you'll be learning the Python programming also. It's not like that that we are not going to run the programs. I just I'm not. I'm just going to teach you the basics of Python. It's not like that. Once you'll be go ahead with this, you can yeah. go always go ahead with if you want to go ahead with deep learning. It's you have you are yes, you are very you're very much aware of that. It's an ocean. So if we yeah. talk about it, you need to have we need to go ahead with machine learning also and all. So it will take a lot of time. So with this, we are going to teach you just Python. Okay. After that, you are capable enough. To learn if you want to go ahead with advanced also you can go ahead with that but if you want to go ahead with the job you will definitely get the job after this mm -hmm. so you will teach like apis because wherever which program whatever like a uh, 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 design something right so they ask like a uh, apis should be, to, to be called so everybody is asking you yeah, use python to call that one so you are going to teach that also yes i am going to teach that so whatever is available APIs and all like the linking and all how to call, how to design. So you will show that practically, right? I'll show it practically. Oh, excellent. So that I am expecting. So I'm ready to join this course. So maybe if later part, like, uh, so you will start up for completion every, uh, every month, like uh, every course, right? Like this way module. I mean, training I... session. Once you complete 50 days, again, you will start, right? Yes. We'll, See, after 50 days, we are not, I'm just, as I've told you, but after that, we have different courses. And, uh, but if you want me to go ahead with the deep learning and to teach you about the machine learning, you know, no, I'm not going to teach you. Oh, okay. machine learning, natural language, NLP, something, that, that, how to like it, that also will be designed in the Python, right? Yes. But machine we are, but I'm, but I'm not going to teach you that. I'll teach you, I'm telling you that we are going ahead with the basic to advanced. I'll tell you how uh -huh. to use the NumPy also, how to use the Pandas also. I'll teach oh, you. Pandas, yes, everything. Okay. So do you aware of this one, machine learning and NLP and all? Did you work on these things? Yes, we do. But okay. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe if your idea means, your experience means, maybe you can guide us that way, right? No problem, yeah. So that is a very good thing. So till now, how many batches you handle in this Logica? Logic Labs, we have already gone through seven, eight batches. Oh, seven, even, eight batches. Even, more, even more, even more than that. Even more than that. Oh, good. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. That good. Like, yeah, no problem. See, any programming language, you will teach the basics only, but practice depends on us only. If you do a lot exactly. of practice, maybe you will become master than you. <laughs> That's only right. Yes. Every time you need to practice on your own. Exactly. Also. That is why I'm telling you that you need to attend each and every session of this. And secondly, yeah. You have to, whatever programming we are doing in the class, you need to practice on your own as well. Otherwise, yeah, you yes, yes, yes. Okay, so. yeah, hands on only, hands on only. That's only without hands on just listening. We'll listen one year, <laughs> leave it other year. It won't be really practically. Exactly. You will forget it. Even in Every the next year. day, also, you'll forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Exactly. Yes, yes. Hands on only, it will exist every time. Yeah, that's yeah. the that, uh, correct way. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much for your clarification. No problem, Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, bye-bye. Bye. Okay, now, yes, Bhavni, please unmute yourself. 
your voice is breaking dear hello uh, can yeah. you hear me now yes it's clear now tell me yeah thanks for the intro session um so i have two things to ask um, basically i my background is civil engineering and i usually work with a lot of data so that mm -hmm. is one reason that i am attending uh, python so most of the work that i do in terms of the data management and automation uh, data analysis analysis uh, mm -hmm. in other words it's a big data analysis mm -hmm. so if the session is going to cover the features that is required to um, used in the data analysis because i'm sorry i could not able to access through the content that's mm -hmm. why i'm asking you this question here pavni just go through the content see i'll what i'll tell you just go through the content whatever content is mentioned there we will cover each and everything we'll not miss even a single thing we'll cover each and everything because if you talk about the data analysis and data analytics because as the person the sam also was telling uh, was telling you that it's a big ocean okay it's not a small thing with a small tub of water so we can cover the small things in 50 days only it's a vast uh, concept so what you need to do is just go through the concept, uh, course content you'll come to know what all we are going to cover okay it will hardly take 2 minutes of your um that link is not working for me that's the issue <laughs> no problem i'll share that with you i'll share in the okay no problem yeah. i'll share that yeah yeah are you the, are you in the whatsapp group yeah yeah i am into the whatsapp group yes yes you can if uh, you can contact our support team also in case you have any doubt yeah yeah okay and another thing is uh, do we have any separate session like um, maybe this is a intro session right in a similar fashion more advanced session towards data analytics or analyzing the big data in logistics mm -hmm. lab mm -hmm. uh, the logistic labs are having any any separate sessions for the data analytics no it's nothing like that you are we don't have any separate sessions and in case you want to uh, talk about this just contact our team they will definitely help you out with that okay, okay. there are no uh, different sessions we have to common sessions only okay okay yeah the final question is um i uh, you explained is about the apis and uh, i also heard the term called ides uh, ideals i think mm, ideally um, yes yeah uh, is there any may, like what is what is this ideals and then what is the difference between these two see we are going to work on each and everything we are going to work on jupiter notebook pycharm ideally shall each and everything we are going to work with you will come to know about it okay this is just to start okay okay so the next sessions are going to cover all of them not from tomorrow see if probably you yeah cover, during the course in, during the course during the course yes we will definitely come each, we will definitely cover each and everything okay okay that's helpful thank you thank you so much Rita. no problem so thank you Okay, now Sarath. Yes, Sarath, tell me. Please unmute yourself. Hi. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Uh, hi. Yeah. Uh, so I was just uh, like, what is the like? Uh, will these uh, sessions be recorded if we miss any of these sessions? Yes, you will be getting the. Uh, if you want, you can. You will get the recording of that. Don't you worry. In case you'll miss the session. you'll get the recording of that okay i mean um that's because uh next month i will be probably traveling for almost a week so i was thinking of uh joining this course instead of the next batch itself but don't i will try to don't you worry you'll that. get the recordings of that you'll get the recordings if you if you'll pay the fee you'll get the recordings and the pdf also okay then that should be all right Thank you. Then, yeah. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So, Shrala. Okay. Yes, tell me, please unmute yourself. Yeah, madam. Ah, uh, actually, I have taken ah uh, SQL coaching from logical labs. 
okay uh, previous batch and i have received a certificate mm -hmm. uh, for this uh, python language also i will be receiving it uh, mm -hmm. by after paying you want a certificate for this are you asking yeah. about it yeah yes yeah. you see uh, you need to because i am a trainer in the logic labs so for that you need to contact our team support team they will definitely help you out with that they yeah, will yeah, yeah. provide you the uh, actually uh, the trainer has told me that he, uh, i will be receiving certificate and all yes, uh, uh, after uh, purchasing this python uh, recording sections i will be receiving or not yes you will be i will be receiving it right? yes after completion of the course yes yes uh, after and one thing madam uh, certificate is valid till see there is no validity when you have completed your 10th is it over now no it's not it's yeah yeah it's over it's, <laughs> it's still valid right so yeah. it will be valid it's nothing like that that the validity will be over once okay. you through the course but you need to practice it okay without yeah, yeah. practicing nothing is going to work nothing is going to work yeah and the recording sections will be there for like long or it will be deleted no idea i don't have any idea about it i think yeah. it's there for law life long rest you need to yeah. discuss about this support team about yeah. it yeah yeah i have no idea okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay thank you thank you yeah. any other question yeah. no 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 problem okay sweat yes sweat please unmute yourself So please unmute yourself. Uh, yeah, so I have been added to the WhatsApp group. Are you in the WhatsApp group? No. So you want to get uh, added in the WhatsApp group, right? Yes. Sweet, so you need to pay the fee for that. So I already you... paid the fees. Already paid the fee. And they asked for my number. I emailed it to them and they still did not add me. When have they, uh, when have they asked for your number? Uh, that was like a week ago. Week ago. Okay, I'll can I'll talk to my team and they will get back to you. I'll tell them to add you in that. Okay. Yeah, and then they also sent me an email that they want to install the notes on my computer or something, the Python on my computer. Mm -hmm. That I no should problem. send them. Or they don't use you, anything. Don't you worry about it, Sweat. I'll definitely can contact my team and we'll tell them to add you in the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Sharif Mullah. Yes, Jeremy. Please unmute yourself. Yeah, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. May I know your name, please? Uh, Mahabub Sharif Mullah. Okay, ma'am. Yes, tell me. Ma'am, after the completion of the course, we will provide it a real-time project. The real-time projects. See, while uh, running the, uh, while going ahead with course only, I'll provide you the programs to run. Okay. So we will not provide you the real-time projects. We'll provide you the programs that will be helpful for you. That's so even though, even though we did not provide even the, at least one project also. No, we don't provide to build on projects. Too. Only only course, okay. Only uh, course plus programs. I'll provide you the programs. Whatever programs we are running in the class, I'll give you the extra program so that you can practice on your own. That's it. Okay. Mm, okay, ma'am. One thing, uh, we'll, we'll complete it only basic concept of Python or we'll give the advanced also? Advanced also. Basic to advanced. We'll be going ahead from basic till advanced because some of the students even don't have the knowledge of basic. Yes, yes, sir. that is a good thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Any other question? Okay, let me see the chat box now. So, Andrea, I'm not able to unmute myself. So, Andrea, just raise your hand. I'll give you the permission to talk, then you'll be able to unmute yourself. Just raise your hand.
Okay, let me check. Yes, now please unmute yourself. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, Sanjay. Yeah, I just uh, want to, uh, because if there are any doubts, I can ask, right? So that is why I have raised my queries in the chat box. No problems. You can always ask. And uh, in case after the session also, if you have any doubt, you can always mail me in my mail, mail ID, official mail ID, so that I can reply you. Sure, sure. Thank you. I'll always reply you for that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other students? Any other students? Okay, Balaji. Yes, Balaji, tell me. Please unmute yourself. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Uh, I joined in middle of the session only. Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so after learning Python, uh, can I uh, do cell scripting also? Cell scripting. Self scripting, you want to go ahead. Oh, yes. No, no, and my question like uh, the Python only they use this cell scripting, right? Uh, Balaji, your voice, I don't know, something is there at the back. Uh, some voice is coming so that I'm able to understand you properly. What do you want to say? Okay. Uh, I, I want to, uh, in my project, uh, they are like uh, saying cell scripting. So after learning Python, it, uh, it will be helpful for me. Yes, definitely. It will be helpful. You want to go ahead with sales scripting, right? Uh, yes. Yes, you will be able to. You'll be able to go ahead with that. That will be helpful oh. for you. Okay. Yeah, thanks. That's my question. No, sir. Any other students? Yes, Satish, tell me. Yeah, so hi, good morning, Ritu, ma'am. So, this year, good so good my good question good. is like, during the course of time, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of uh, scripting, I mean, uh, what, I mean, what kind of projects are we going to work on? Like, uh, what kind of scripts or uh, are we building any application using the Python or uh, like how it is going to be? And second question is like, are we are we covering any, any DevOps related uh, 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 concepts uh, using the Python. Uh, I mean, did you uh, get Sat me? Satish, the thing is, we are not going to cover the DevOps relating. For that, you need to learn the DevOps only. Okay. For mm -hmm. you, uh, and uh, regarding this, if we talk about the Python programming, yes, if we, you'll be able to run the projects. I'll giving you whatever we are learning in the class. I'll give you the programs related that only. Okay, so that will be helpful for you because we'll be covering mm -hmm. from basic till advanced. So you, there is a whole uh, huge concept. So it will be helpful for you to learn. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sandhya, yes, Sandhya, please unmute. Mom, will you teach data structures and algorithms in Python? No, will not. Okay. We'll teach the data stru uh, structures, but not the algorithm. Okay. 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 Okay, students. Any other questions, students? Some students has raised their hand, maybe. They have raised by mistake. Okay, students. So as you don't have any questions now, so we are winding up the session. That's all for the session today. That's all for the session today. Rest we'll discuss tomorrow. Rest we'll discuss tomorrow and we'll proceed with the features of Python. Right? Okay, one student has again raised your hand. Have a nice day, ma'am. Have a nice day, Santara. Okay, one student has raised the hand. Okay. 
Yes, please unmute yourself. Uh, teacher, uh, once we finish the course for getting the certificate, we have yes. to write an exam, right? Or is it just like after we finish this course, we get a certificate? You will get the certificate. You need not to write that. All right. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Okay. Any other questions? So that's all for the session today, students. That's all for the session today. No classes on Sundays and Saturdays. No, dear, we don't have classes on Sundays and Saturdays. We don't have classes on Sundays and Saturdays. Thank you, students. Thank you. Have a nice day, students. Bye. Take care.